Hi guys and welcome here to The Sleek where today we're talking about barrels. Now The Sleek sells a wide variety, well not that wide, but a variety of barrels, specifically barrel sizes. Our wood types are pretty much the same. Um, French oak for eight years old, four years on wine, four years on fortified wine, normally sherry. But in terms of barrel sizes, there's a, a quite a few different ones. We've got as small as 1.6 liter barrels, 9 liter barrels, 25 liter barrels, 50 liter barrels, so on and so forth. And we can get specially made sizes as well. Now, a couple of things when you buy a barrel. Now, firstly, when you buy a barrel for the first time, you can't just take it home, add in alcohol and use it. It's not going to work. It's going to leak like a sieve. What you need to realize is that even a second-hand barrel, second-hand obviously being more expensive because there's more flavor to give because of its previous use, but even a second-hand barrel has been refurbished. The bigger barrels get taken apart, the wood um, spars get uh, cleaned up, skimmed down and so forth, and then it gets cut and reassembled. So this has the characteristics of a new barrel in terms of how you use it. You can't now just take this barrel and put alcohol in. It's going to leak out. So you have to take the barrel and fill it with water first. Now what we found is that in the Western Cape about seven days of water in here is sufficient for that wood to swell up and seal itself. Then you can use it again. But up here in Gauteng where we are um, due to lower air pressure and humidity, about 21 days is normally required. 21 days of water inside here. Now when you fill it with water, the ideal water to use for that purpose is reverse osmosis or distilled water. Normal tap water or boil water, dam water, it's not really ideal because you can leave a mineral salt residue inside the barrel or even worse, a chlorine residue inside the barrel. So you use distilled water or reverse osmosis water in order to seal this barrel. Now, once you've sealed it up, and it, please, when you do this, put it in a plastic or basin or something, because in the beginning it will leak out. So you need to top up water, top up water until it stops leaking, and then leave it for, as I said, 7 to 21 days. You can also use steam. If you've got a steam uh, generator or steam cleaner, you can use steam as well on these barrels to seal them up a little bit faster. But once you've now emptied the barrel, you need to fill it up immediately. A barrel cannot stand empty because if it stands empty, it starts drying out. And once it dries out, that wood cracks and well, you can use it as an ornament, you can turn it into furniture, you can never use it for its intended use again. I saw literally yesterday on social media, people advertising barrels for sale, but these barrels have been lying outside in the sun for who knows how long, based on its discoloration, I'd say probably a couple of months, if not longer. That barrel's gonna be useless, and people were paying exorbitant amounts of money for these barrels, and they're going to be useless because they're going to be cracked. As I said, you can cut them up into staves maybe or mulch them up and try to use them uh, as wood chips, but using them as a barrel, uh -uh, not going to work. Now, once you uh, fill the barrel, uh, with alcohol, you have to fill the barrel. You cannot half fill a barrel because if it's only half full, you've got a greater surface area inside the barrel that leads to greater evaporation and increased angel share. It can also, if you leave it longer, long enough, lead to the top of the barrel drying out because there's not a liquid in contact with it and that will again lead to leaks and increased angel share. So we fill it with full strength alcohol, not diluted alcohol. You're not going to put 43% alcohol in here, which is the South African minimum. You're going to put your distilled strength in here, either 65% or 75%, depending on whether you made brandy or whiskey. It is commonplace in some countries where, like in the USA for instance, they will distill their uh, bourbon or whiskey at 75%, but then dilute down to 55 or 60 or 65% to put it in the barrel. The reason for that is the use of virgin American oak barrels, first full barrels. Even on the second full barrel, you will find that if you put the alcohol in at a too high a percentage, because the solvency of the alcohol increases as the percentage increases, it kind of pulls out too much flavor too quickly and you can have an over wooded product within your barrel very very quickly that's why they dilute down but in an eight year old barrel like this it's not necessary to dilute down you can put it in full strength 
Now, please note, you're not going to use the small barrel for a period of three years, which is the legal minimum in South Africa for brandy and whiskey. The smaller the barrel, the greater the ratio of surface area to volume and the faster the aging process works. So you can leave it for a couple of weeks. If it's a really small barrel, a 1.6 liter barrel, even a couple of days will be sufficient for you to get the level of woodiness that you want in your product. Now, a couple of lessons that we've learned. This league's been in the business since 2007. So for 13 years, we've been selling and products and doing training and uh, providing equipment and consumables. We've learned lessons along the way. So a couple of things to avoid. And let me give you an example of what not to use. Firstly, if you use a barrel with these black painted uh, hoops, it might look nice, but you can see on this barrel, and I hope the camera picks it up, that the paint starts leaching into the wood. Not only does that not look nice from an exterior perspective, but you can also, it not can, it will also affect the flavor of the product on the inside. We've actually had products come out discolored because of these painted hoops. So stay away from painted hoops. You don't want that. Galvanized hoops is fine. Brass hoops are fine. The other thing you have to avoid are brass taps. Everybody always wants the brass tap on here because they think it, look, it looks nice. But the problem with the brass tap is it's okay if you've got wine in here or fortified wine and you have it behind your bar counter and you're dispensing it. But if you use a brass tap with high percentage alcohol, if you're using this for its intended purpose of aging and you've got high percentage alcohol in here, due to the mixture of metals that's used in the brass taps, you sometimes find a black sedimentation that forms inside the alcohol uh, due to these interactions of the metals with the alcohol. So brass taps, no. You cannot use brass taps on a barrel. Stainless steel taps, we've looked at that as well. It was better. We did have some issues until we found a supplier that gave us the right taps with the right seals where we didn't have any issues. But ideally, and as, interestingly enough, you want a wooden spigot. Oak spigot, which you can put on top of the um, barrel and use that. But please note, you don't need a tap on a barrel. That's purely if you want to use it for dispensing purposes. It might look good from an ornamental point of view, but it's actually not a good idea if you're using the barrel for aging purposes. Now, barrels will get worked out after a while. Um, if you'll use it three, four, five, six times maybe, and then you'll notice that this flavor profile starts going down. It's not giving as much flavor anymore because the barrel's worked out. Now, that's not a problem. You can just leave it in a little bit longer to extract more flavor over a longer period of time. Or later on, if it really becomes worked out, you can add wood chips in here. The wood chips that we sell is the same wood as the barrels. It is French oak, it's used for the same period of time, eight years, four years on wine, four years on fortified wine. So you can basically replenish the flavor profile of the barrel by adding in chips with the alcohol. Just keep one thing in mind. If the barrel is not being used, it cannot stand empty. It will dry out, it will crack, you're gonna lose the barrel. So if you don't have alcohol put in here, put water in the barrel, let it stand, but replenish that water on a regular basis. Otherwise the raw water is going to go stagnant and you might have um, all kinds of bacteria and, and some kind of contamination forming inside the barrel. So just replenish that water on a regular basis and again, ideally you want to use distilled water or reverse osmosis water to stop any mineral salt or chlorine sedimentation inside the barrels. So that's quick and dirty the barrels that we sell here at this leak. If you want more information about barrel aging, I highly recommend you do one of our training courses, specifically the ones that deal with barrel aged products. That would be our C1 introduction to the stunning course, followed by either our W1 brandy uh, or fruit based spirits course, where we focus on brandy, or our W2 grain based spirits course, where we focus on whiskey and vodka.